This video shows you how to use Screenlets in Liferay screens for Android. As an example, you'll add login Screenlet to an existing Android Studio project that has already been configured to use screens. The previous video details this configuration by showing you how to add screens as a dependency in your app's build.gradle file. To use a Screenlet in your app, add its XML to the activity or fragment layout that you want it to appear in. Here, I add login screenlet to the main activity's layout. Setting the layout width to match parent tells the screenlet to take up the full width of the parent layout. Likewise, setting the layout height to wrap content tells it to use the minimum height that it needs to display properly. Now you're ready to test it. The login screenlet appears when you launch your app in an emulator. If you try to sign in without entering credentials, you get an error message in the app and a security exception in the log. Upon entering valid credentials, a login successful message appears in the log. If you try entering invalid credentials, you get the same error message and exception that you saw before. Note that what I've shown so far is just the most basic usage of login screenlet. You'll undoubtedly want your app to do more than this. For example, when login succeeds, you may want to launch another activity or take some other action. To do this, first give the screenlet an ID in its layout file. You'll use this ID to get a reference to the screenlet in the Activities class. Now open the Activity class. In the onCreate method, create an instance of the screenlet by using the ID that you just gave it. As you can see in the autocomplete, you can do many, many things with this screenlet instance. But in this case, you need to set the listener to the Activity class. This also requires that your activity implements login listener, which gives you the on login success and on login failure methods. You can use these methods to write the code your app needs to respond to the screenlet's actions. As a quick example, I'll create a toast message to display whenever login succeeds, but you can write any code you want in these methods. Now go ahead and test the app. Because no additional code was added to on login failure, the behavior when login fails is the same as it was before. However, when login succeeds, the toast now appears. While the success and failure methods and the listener differ between the different screenlets available in Liferay screens, the basic procedure illustrated here for using them is the same. For more information, see the screenlet reference documentation on dev.liferay.com.